Good morning once again. For today's lesson, we are now on topic 13, lesson 4. Equivalence with metric units of length. Textbook, pages 697 to 702. Prepare your book and your pen. And as you listen to the discussion, you are going to write the answers on the pages of your book. Let us remember some important words from this lesson. We have the word millimeter, mm. A millimeter is a metric unit of length. 10 millimeters equals 1 centimeter. So 1000 millimeters equals 1 Meter. Centimeter, cm. A centimeter is a metric unit of length. 100 centimeters equals 1 meter. Meter. A meter, m, is a metric unit of length equal to 100 centimeters. Kilometer, km. A kilometer is a metric unit of length. One kilometer equals 1,000 meters. One kilometer is about the length of four city blocks. Find the length of the marker shown in both centimeters and millimeters. Describe the relationship between the two units. Bear in mind the conversion table of metric units of length. We have 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters, equal to 1000 millimeters. 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Now let us solve the problem. So first thing we will do is to measure the marker with the ruler. And as you can see, it is 12 centimeters. So what conversion unit are we going to use as a basis to solve this problem. So we are going to use one centimeter is equals to 10 millimeters from larger unit to smaller units. If we are going to convert from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we are going to use multiplication. So we are going to multiply 12 centimeters by 10 millimeters. 12 times 10 is equals 120 millimeters. Therefore, 12 centimeters is equal to 120 millimeters. Let's move on to the look back. The length of Toby's giant pencil is 25 centimeters. How could you find the length of his pencil in millimeters. Remember the conversion unit that you are going to use to solve this problem. So we are going to use the conversion one centimeter equals 10 millimeters. So we are going to multiply 25 by 10 to convert it to millimeters. How can you convert from one metric unit of length to another? Let's find out! For the standing long jump, Corey jumped 2 meters and Gary jumped 175 centimeters. Who jumped farther? Metric units of length include meters, kilometers, 
centimeters, and millimeters. Of these units, which is the shortest? Select your answer. Millimeters are the shortest unit. Kilometers are the longest. The table shows equivalent metric measures of length. What do you notice about the equivalent measures in the table? The equivalent measures all involve 10, 100, or 1,000. So you can easily convert metric units using a multiple of 10. Step 1. Convert 2 meters to centimeters. Why do you need to convert 2 meters to centimeters? To compare the distances the boys jumped, the distances must be in the same unit. Which equivalent measures should you use? Select your answer. Use the equation 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. Multiply the number of meters, 2, by 100 to find the equivalent number of centimeters. 2 times 100 equals 200 centimeters. Corey jumped 200 centimeters. How is converting meters to centimeters like converting feet to inches? To convert feet to inches, you multiply the number of feet by 12, the number of inches in one foot. To convert meters to centimeters, you multiply the number of meters by 100, the number of centimeters in one meter. Step 2. Compare the lengths jumped. 200 centimeters is greater than 175 centimeters. So, Corey jumped farther than Gary. Now you know how to convert from one unit of metric length to another. So, did you watch and listen attentively to the video? It was very well explained. So are you now ready to solve some problems? Let's start from convince me. Shyla says 5 kilometers are equal to 500 meters. Do you agree? Explain. No, because one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So, five kilometers is equal to 5,000 meters. So, you are going to multiply the five kilometers by 1,000 meters. So, five times 1,000 is equal to 5,000 meters. Let's have more examples before we will proceed to the guided practice. Let's try to solve this. Convert 3 meters to millimeters. Remember that 1 meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters. So we are going to multiply 3 times 1,000 equals 3,000 millimeters. Amazing! Let's have another problem. Convert 9 meters to centimeters. Remember, 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeters. So we are going to multiply 9 meters by 100 centimeters. The answer is 900 centimeters. 9 times 100 is equals 900. Good job! Now let's have the guided practice. Number 1. In the problem on the previous page, suppose Matthew jumped three-fourths meter. Who jumped farther, Matthew or Gary? Explain. It's Gary. Three-fourths meter is equals to 75 centimeters. 
175 centimeters is greater than 75 centimeters. Let's have question number two. Convert 5 kilometers to meters. Remember that 1 kilometer is equals to 1,000 meters. To multiply 5 kilometers by 1,000 meters. And the answer is 5,000 meters. Question number 3. Convert 75 centimeters to millimeters. Remember that 1 centimeter is equals to 10 millimeters. So multiply 75 centimeters by 10 millimeters. And it will give you a product of 750 millimeters. So 75 centimeters is equal to 750 millimeters. That would be all for today. Thank you for listening. This is Teacher Maritel, your math teacher.